Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is, of course, a new week, and that means we've got some new updates coming to Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. Now, that said, this upcoming week is going to be the final full week that we have here in season one a week from wednesday on february 7th we are going to see the launch of season two go live and that means that this week is going to be a little bit different than those that we've seen recently some of the routine updates are still going to be in place and we've got plenty of those to break down we've also got several changes that have sort of secretly gone live or have been published over the past couple of days and a few other things to look out for as well now initially because this is the final week of season one there are some very important sort of checklist items if you will initially uh you'll want to look at your weekly challenges for season one everything going on there with weeks one through eight if you're looking to unlock any of those specific aftermarket parts or potentially even the tack evolver lmg or you're trying to go for that coherence camo for the overall season even though admittedly i don't think it looks very good if you like to go for the camos and you like to have some more rare things on your account that ultimately is going to be one of them so if you need to finish up your weekly challenges definitely go through and get those done that said if you don't have time you're not able to go through and get all of those aftermarket parts i believe what they're doing with those now is that once they do expire when season two drops those aftermarket parts will still be earnable as will the tack evolver however it's going to be available all that stuff will be available through the armory instead and unfortunately, right now, it seems like ever since season one reloaded roughly, the armory is kind of broken. Personally, I've got everything unlocked, so I haven't seen this myself, but I've seen so many different complaints and comments from you guys uh, on recent videos saying, hey, my armory is not letting me actually redeem things. You know, I've done three challenges for the striker. I've done three challenges for the tack eradicator, and it's just not letting me actually unlock it and use it. So. If you really want to avoid that potential problem happening in season two, I would jump on and knock out those weekly challenges if you're interested in getting some of those aftermarket parts unlocked. But of course, all those weekly challenges will refresh for season two and we'll have a new set rolling in every week throughout that season. Also, in the coming days, we are going to see the end of the boys event as well. This does give you the uh, Make Heroes Super Camo if you go through and earn just over half a million XP. That'll be expiring this week, like I said, directly. No current word on if a new event is going to replace it or if it'll just be like a sort of end of the season. Hey, we're just letting you guys catch up on anything in the final few days. Uh, obviously, season two is going to be the return of a lot of new events, though. We should have those from week to week, given that we've got a bunch of new leaked camos and all sorts of different event rewards that have surfaced recently now as I mentioned we have seen a couple of other updates revealed in the past couple of days also some secretly have gone live for whatever reason they really haven't communicated them but as we get into this and the remainder of what to look out for this week quick reminder if you're new to the channel every single day I got you covered with all things going on in COD whether it's MW3 or Warzone so if you want to guarantee you're always up to date be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. And if you enjoy this video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. It is always seriously appreciated. But curiously enough, some of these details are actually stemming from Sledgehammer's Reddit account. They're actually pretty active over on there in terms of responding to various different threads or comments that are upvoted. So if you're ever interested in feedback, that's a good place to leave it. I'll actually talk about that here momentarily. But initially here, Sledgehammer actually sort of sneaky confirmed a new update coming for season two that will probably see revealed to a certain extent uh this week more on that again in also just a minute but somebody was talking about how the iron sight's been locked on the longbow and you can't actually play with that and they commented and said this attachment is intended to be released in season two it's a bug that's currently visible in the ui but we'll consider it a teaser for now so they did confirm that in season two we are going to have iron sight longbow sniping honestly you could have some pretty fun builds with that especially in multiplayer but you might even be able to make do with that over in warzone as well so new attachment confirmed there not sure if that's going to be an aftermarket part like a weekly challenge thing or if it'll just straight up be unlocked you might have to get like an additional level on the longbow or something we'll have to keep our eyes out for that regardless they were also asked directly you know what's the best way to suggest things to the devs to leave feedback to get your issues recognized and they said there's no obvious official studio-led feedback form 
form or anything like that uh that said i do my best to try and relay things to my direct contacts at call of duty whenever i can that you guys leave or that you guys talk about so feel free to always do that like i said i try my best to relay as much as i can but uh they do say we actively monitor the various social media platforms and begin conversations with our team based on that player feedback we're the most active on reddit and twitter but we welcome you to share your thoughts wherever you're most comfortable we also encourage everyone to upvote and like and engage with the feedback that you agree with so it has a better chance of hitting our radar so i oftentimes see all those questions hey how can i let the devs know this how can i get the devs to see that feel free to post it on socials because they are actually pretty active they might not respond to everything but they do end up seeing a lot as shown with various different community-based updates recently and sludge is super interactive there so you do love to see that and in specific somebody also asked them directly hey what about that inconsistent weapon FOV bug? What's going on there? And they did directly respond to this because this has been an issue since day one of MW3's launch, saying we are actively tracking the status of this on our Trello board, which we'll be jumping to here in just a second. As you pointed out though, it's incredibly inconsistent, which makes it difficult to replicate and actually fully get the bug fixed because you have to directly source how it's happening and why it's happening. And when it's that inconsistent, that becomes a lot more difficult. That said, some good news here. It seems as if they've found a fix for this because on the Trello board now for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, that actually has been updated to fix scheduled. In multiplayer, after infill, field of view can be reset higher than expected. So this should be fixed potentially in the upcoming days with our weekly update this week. We could see some surprise patch notes. And of course, if they drop, you guys know I'll have you covered with those details right as they happen or it could just be reserved for season two we'll have to wait and see but that's got a fix scheduled for it as does the no stock attachment on the uh, uh xrk stalker i imagine that also includes those several other bugged attachments the iron sight on the longbow some barrels for the ram there's a lot of those small issues going on here and there with various different guns but definitely some good news on the trello board front in addition to that though another thing that was listed on the trello board that was not updated but appears to have been updated in game almost in secret because call of duty never posted any updates on this and never tweeted hey this fix has now been pushed live in game or anything like that is an issue with the fluctuation camo on the tac evolver but this was actually affecting pretty much every single gun in the game where any challenge that required you to get 10 kills without reloading 10 times like what the fluctuation camo needs you to do just wasn't tracking in zombies so if you were going for mastery camos and you got to a gun with that challenge you were kind of just out of luck but it does appear that they've sort of secretly fixed that in the background so if you're going for that stuff you should now be able to track that correctly unfortunately on the war zone side of things we really haven't seen all that many trello updates recently so we'll just have to keep our eyes out for any potential updates there again if any of that happens i'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop so just make sure you're subscribed with those noties turned on but once more looking towards this week and what we uh have in store at least on the multiplayer side of things we do have another confirmation here and that's going to be the debut of of headquarters I've seen a lot of questions a lot of comments zach where is headquarters why are they uh, not dropping headquarters when is it going to happen this week we got our playlist update somewhat previewed for multiplayer at the time that i'm recording this video and they do have a countdown timer now live on the multiplayer playlist menu that shows headquarters will be making its debut here in just a couple of days time so if you're looking forward to that mode returning that will be back this week on the warzone side of things they again unfortunately have not previewed anything as for the final playlist update of uh season one so we'll just have to cover that once it drops and then to round things out since this is obviously the final week of season one as i've mentioned several times throughout the video that means that in the coming days this week we are going to start to see our major season two reveals as well this includes the full probably like trailer for the season the full-on roadmap and blog post detailing all the major content the new weapon operators modes maps gameplay changes new features potentially the return of things like fortunes keep all sorts of major details like that will be revealed in the coming days usually that stuff happens roughly one week out from the launch of a season so that means this wednesday when we usually would see our standard routine update we could be seeing that announcement go live and if that's the case that'll probably replace the update video pending any like surprise patch notes or other breaking news that we'll have to cover there so they could potentially be dropping this wednesday sometimes it happens like the thursday or the friday before so of course just stay tuned for that you guys know we'll be going in depth on all the details that are revealed there since that'll be our next major seasonal announcement there but 
we can expect that this week as well in addition to all the other confirmed changes and different little teasers and updates happening this week too so and what do you know post edit zach here as i was editing this video some teasers actually arrived for fortunes keep here in season two it's now officially confirmed that warzone is going to see the return of fortunes keep within season two various different creators got a couple of packages today teasing that it is going to be returning so we'll have that major content update to look forward to personally pretty excited for this one i think it'll play nice with the new movement updates mantling mountaineer on this map is going to go crazy so that should be a fun update for sure for the most part a pretty routine end to the season but there are a few specific things you'll want to look out for for sure that being said that is going to wrap things up for this one if you enjoyed the video feel free to drop a like on it it is always really appreciated and if you want to guarantee you're always up to date with everything going on in cod be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out